Hey folks, it's Brendan, and in the video that you're watching right now, I'm about to share how you can create a Facebook fan page for your business that converts. The first step of actually creating a Facebook page is really easy. All you need to do is go to the top right of your Facebook account where there's a drop down arrow. You want to click on that drop down arrow and it'll take you to a list of options. Click on the create page option and it'll take you to the create a page section of Facebook where it tells you to select the category of the page you want to create. So you just need to find what's appropriate for the business page that you want to create in Facebook. Now I just need to pick the best subcategory that matches my business or product. So in this case, because I'm an affiliate marketer and an internet marketer, I'm going to select the internet and software subcategory. Then you want to come up with a name for your Facebook page. So in this case, for me, it could be Brendan Mace, but for you, it's whatever the title of your company or business is pretty darn simple. Then you click on the get started option. The rest of the setup for your Facebook page is really common sense for the most part and Facebook does a pretty good job of guiding you through the process so I'm not going to bore you in this video with the rest of the setup. Instead I'm going to move forward to some steps that you can do to increase the professionalism and conversion rate of your Facebook page. So the first two things that you're going to want to edit are the images, the cover photo and the profile picture for your page. You'll notice on my Facebook page I have this background cover photo here with a computer screen with money popping out of it and Brendan Mace logo and you know it's not the best cover photo out there but it's pretty good and you're probably thinking whoa Brendan you've got some designing skills. Well the fact of the matter is I didn't design any of my images anywhere. Honestly I'm not a good photo editor and it's not in my skill set. Instead what I do is I outsource all photo designs elsewhere and I highly recommend that you do the same. Now you're probably thinking at this point that designing a cover photo for me probably costs a good amount of money but the fact is is that you can get photo editing done and complete designs done for you for only five dollars on a website called Fiverr.com. Now a good number of you have already heard of this service but for those of you that haven't Fiverr is a website where you pay five dollars to get a particular service done for you. Now what's beautiful about Fiverr in this case is that you can get cover photos like the one I had on my Facebook page completely done for only five dollars and I'm going to show you the service that I used to get my Facebook cover photo done that you just saw on the Mace Fids fan page and it's this Fiverr provider right here. So I used this Fiverr provider and I clicked on the order now for five dollars and she sent me that image in the Mace Foods cover photo. Now like I said it's not the best cover photo you've ever seen but for five dollars it's pretty darn fancy. The second Facebook tip that I have for you is to actually create content that engages your audience. So for my Facebook fan page I just post my YouTube videos because I'm using it as a traffic vehicle to YouTube. So in this case I just drop links to my YouTube video. Now that's probably not the strategy that you want to go with but your task is to find the content that you can drop on your Facebook fan page that's going to engage your audience. The final ninja tip and this is actually a really big one is to create a landing page on your Facebook fan page. Now this sounds pretty cool and a lot of us don't even realize that you actually can have a landing page on your Facebook fan page. So here's the landing page that I created in about two minutes using Lead Monster specifically for this video tutorial. Now again I'm not a Facebook expert by any means but considering I was able to integrate this landing page into my Facebook fan page in a couple minutes shows you how powerful this strategy can really be. So the question that I have on my landing page for this fan page is do you want a simple cash generating WordPress blog? yes or no and of course this is a fairly rhetorical question because who doesn't want 
a WordPress blog that spits out free affiliate commissions on autopilot. So most people in this case are going to click on the yes button, which is going to allow me to have an opportunity to collect a lead from them. So this is a landing page that will give me a bunch of free leads just by installing onto my landing page. So to quickly recap the video, your steps are to create a Facebook fan page by going at the top right of the screen. Next, you want to upload a professional business cover photo and profile picture. Now, I highly recommend that you use Fiverr.com to get this done for you for only $5 because there's professionals on there that are going to do a really cool job for you. But if you're determined to do everything yourself, then the pixel dimensions of the cover photo is 851 pixels by 315. After completing the design of your Facebook page, you're going to want to make sure that you have content on there that engages your audience. This is going to give you way better results if you have people that are actually sharing your stuff. And as an added touch, it's a really good idea to have a landing page on your Facebook fan page somewhere so that you can collect free leads in the process of growing your page. So that's all for the video folks. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get access to all of my excellent videos just like this one. Now it's your turn to take action and make it happen. Hey folks, it's Brendan here and in the video you're watching right now, I want to show you how I increased my traffic by over 600% in the last three or four months by only using